Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you have not watched us before, my name is Crystal. And today we're kind of switching gears a little bit. Uh, we've had a lot of people asking and comments and questions. So today we are gonna go over all of our camera gear with you guys and what we use to make our content. This is the mother load of our camera gear right here. Uh, obviously we will go through it with you. We'll open up each bag and show you what we're using and what we use it for. And there'll definitely be some links in the description if you wanna check it out. And yeah, we're happy to share this with you guys. So this is our Indirax camera gear backpack. Uh, we bought this on Amazon. It is able to carry many different types of cameras. We use it for our GoPros. This thing holds a lot. Like we fit both of our GoPros in there. We fit all of our batteries in there. Um, tons of gear guys, and it's a great little unit. So I'm gonna open it up. All right, so as you can see, some nice little compartments inside to hold all your gear. And it holds also all of our microphones as well. And then we've got a nice little pocket here that we can put all our extra USBs and cords in. So really great little bag. Uh, once again, we bought it off Amazon. So we will put the link in the description for you guys. And you can check it out if you want to. Okay, guys, I am just going to take everything out of the bag. Put it in our little workspace here. And I'll get the bag out of the way. Just makes it a little bit easier here to show you everything. All right, so this is everything that was inside that Indirex camera backpack. So as you can see, it fits quite a bit of gear. So we know that most people wanna know what cameras are being used. So we are gonna start with that. So as you can see, this little fella here, we use a GoPro Hero 9 and we have a GoPro Hero 10. And honestly, the only difference between them is that the Hero 10, you can fit a larger SD card. So that's going to up your storage capacity, uh, which for us has been great because we do a lot of filming. Uh, but yeah, that is what we use. And honestly, so far, we love them both. They have served us well in our content creation. This is our media mod and we use it to attach our power and as well as all our outside microphones and we love it it works well for us these are our nd filters uh, basically they give you the cinematic look to your footage without overexposing um, you can look these guys up on youtube honestly there's tons of videos that go into more detail uh, about the use and the benefits of using these. For us, they have been really helpful, especially with different lighting. All right, so here you have KNF Concepts, and then this is called Newer. We have two sets of ND filters because we are running uh, two GoPros. All right, guys, so when we are out on the water, we do run external batteries. However, when we're doing a video like this, uh, we are just using your GoPro battery or this guy, which is called a Telesyn. And we honestly think that both of them work equally as well. All right, so this little guy here is honestly a genius way to switch your camera from mount to mount. Um, and we'll get more into that once we go over how we attach all of our cameras to our kayaks. Okay guys, the microphone that comes on the Media Mod, honestly, it's not amazing so we do run external microphones especially because our camera is pretty far away from us on the boat and they definitely help when there's wind and any other background noise that's happening on the water all right so this one is the ceremonic blink 500 pro and then we also run this one as well which is the cinco g2 the Ceremonic is my microphone and the Cinco G2 is what Kyle uses. And we both really love both of them. They both work really well. The only difference that we've noticed is the Ceremonic uh, doesn't have as much battery life. And this guy, the only downside is just that this little screen here can be a little bit difficult to see out on the water, especially with the sun. 
So the nice thing about this unit is that it does come with your cord to connect to your receiver as well as your lav mic, whereas this one, you have to buy everything separately. So something to consider as well. All right, so this is our little secret here. Uh, shout out to Huey Fishing for telling Kyle that he should do this. Uh, we use silicone earplugs, believe it or not, to just make everything watertight on the GoPro. So we cover up all the little ports after everything's plugged in and wrap it all around anywhere water can get in there to make it as watertight as possible. So when you use a media mod guys on your GoPro, it's actually not waterproof anymore. So we are taking a risk by using it, but that is why we do everything we can with these little guys to ensure that it's as waterproof as we can make it. All right guys, so that is everything that is GoPro related. And now we're gonna talk about mounting the camera gear to the boats and what we use for that. All right guys, so this is the setup we use to get all of our really cool underwater footage. Uh, we use the Smotry selfie stick there along with the GoPro waterproof housing. So the GoPro is technically waterproof, but because we are going in the salt water, it can be such a pain to clean afterwards. So we just do this. It makes it a heck of a lot easier. And that's how we get the cool underwater footage for you guys. So this is our little mini tripod. It's the Yulanzi MT33. The one thing that we really love about this one is that it's got these really cool flexible legs. So you can wrap it around whatever you want. And it's really nice if you're trying to get like a specific camera angle, you can hang it from a tree, you can hang it from whatever you want to do. Um, so yeah, it's a really cool little thing here. And we use it quite a bit. And this guy is the Yolanzi Quick Claw on top here. You just pop it in and then you slide it over to lock it. And that guy is not going anywhere. Like that's in there for sure. And then you just pop back over and push the button to release. And honestly, this is such a great tool for us because it makes it super easy to switch up our cameras between different things. So if we want to use the selfie stick or the boom stick, um, just a quick pop of a button and we can switch our camera to whatever um, tool we need to use it on. So it works really well. Definitely love this little guy here. All right. So these are Yak Attack Panfish Pros and this is the boom stick. And this is what we use to mount the cameras to our kayaks. So once again, we have the Lonzi Quick Claw up there and it just makes it super easy to switch our camera around. And once it's in there and you lock it, it's not going anywhere. So feels good to know that it's locked in place. One thing that we love about this guy is that once it's on there, it is not going anywhere. It's super secure and it is locked in place. And we also love the variety of positions that you can do. So the nice thing guys is if you want to change your position, you just pop that little button, but it's still actually locked in place, but you have the ability to maneuver it around and then you just push down to lock it back in the spot that you want. The other really nice thing guys is this ball connector here makes it really easy to fine tune whatever camera position or angle that you're trying to achieve. So really adaptable all together and we're really happy with it. All right guys, so this is the boom stick in comparison to the Panfish Pro. And you can see how much longer it is. Um, and that's great, but the only thing is, is obviously the longer it is, the more movement you're gonna get, especially in the wind and you got the waves coming at you. However, um, it is really nice if you're trying to get that wider angle overall, or even if you want it behind you to get that over the shoulder look, which sometimes we do as well. So still a great tool to have in our toolbox when it comes to filming, but we do tend to stick to the Panfish Pro just for a little bit more stability. So to power our GoPros all day, we use these anchor power banks and we just attach them to the boom stick there. So we just use regular USB cords. We plug one end in here one end into the GoPro, and this is a 20,000 milliamp hour battery. And honestly, guys, we have never had it die on us at all. Um, and we've been out on the water for like eight plus hours some days. So 
definitely a great little battery unit. So that is a wrap on everything that goes as far as filming and all of our equipment that we use to film. And we are gonna move on to something else. All right, guys, so this is a new little toy that we added to our camera gear lineup. And it was given to us by our number one sponsor, Kyle's mom. And uh, yeah, we're super excited to have this on board with our filming equipment. All right, guys, here she is. This is the DJI Mini 3 Pro drone. So we are going to start by talking about the case. Obviously, it's good to protect your investment. I'm honestly not even going to try to pronounce that. <laughs> uh, but we purchased it on Amazon and it is waterproof. It is foam lined and this thing is solid. So like it's rock hard and so far we're very happy with it. So this feature is really cool. You can actually remove the little foam tray, two little handles on there and then underneath you've got some hidden storage for your accessories, your manual, what, what have you, whatever you have. And we're waiting on the Fly More kit as well to give us a little bit more battery life. However, so far we're pretty impressed with the battery life for this guy. It's a fast, powerful drone and we get about half an hour, give or take a few minutes, which is pretty great. This guy is a game changer. So one of the big differences between the Mini 2 and the Mini 3, which is what this one is, is the remote. So the Mini 2, you actually had to connect and hook up your phone as the remote. Um, as you can see, this guy has a nice big display on it. It's got some nice hand controls, really smooth, and it saves you the hassle of one more step of hooking up your phone. So really loving that as well with the Mini 3. So everything over here is what you're gonna get with the DJI Mini 3 Pro. And then over here is the stuff that we have added. So this is just a silicone protector for the remote and it's got a sun visor on it, which just makes it easier to see the screen, especially in the sun. And this is just a lanyard guys, just helps to prevent any accidental drops of the remote. And this guys is just a little landing gear that we purchased. And this like for us being on the water, it makes it easier for Kyle to actually grab the drone when he's trying to land it on the kayak. So these are not only ND filters, but they also are polarized. And these are really great for getting that cinematic look, especially with the drone and not getting that overexposure, which you definitely don't want. And these are made by newer. Once again, just purchased on Amazon as well. And the polarizing guys is great, especially for cutting glare when we are on the water. So this is just a little landing pad. Um, as you guys know, we are launching from all different types of beaches, sometimes some that are quite sandy. And so when we're using the drone, especially to get just some B-roll footage, we don't want to land the drone on any sort of sand. Um, it can actually get sucked right up into the motor, um, which could obviously cause a lot of damage to the drone. So this is just a really cheap investment, really, that could go a long, long way in protecting your drone. As you guys can see, it actually fits in the hull of our Old Town PDL 120, no problem. So really nice for being able to bring it with us on the boat. All right, guys, so that's a wrap on the drone. And we just have one last but not least piece of the puzzle that we will share with you um, and go over with you. All right, guys, last but not least, we have Kyle's baby here, his laptop. It is the HP Omen 16. And this is where all the magic happens. We do all the editing of our video footage on this. And it's actually a gaming laptop, but it has been phenomenal for editing all of our footage. All right, guys, so this is the platform that we use for all of our editing. It is called Wondershare Filmora 12. And so far, we really love this program. It's not overly complicated and it's easy to use, which is the main thing. Um, and so, so far we haven't had any issues with the Filmora and one of the things that we really love about it is that it hasn't crashed on us. We do subscribe, so it, there is a monthly fee to it. 
However, we feel it's worth it because in the past when we've used the free platforms, we've had issues with the program crashing, which when you're trying to edit a video is very, very frustrating and hard to work with. Um, so for us, definitely feels worth it to have the subscription. All right, guys, so here we just have a laptop stand, pretty basic off Amazon. If you have this com computer or you're thinking about purchasing it, we definitely recommend as a must have. This is a gaming laptop and it does run hot. So having it elevated has definitely helped keep it cooler. All right, guys, so last but not least is storage. We run two cameras all the time when we are on the water. And so obviously lots and lots of footage to store. So a big thing for us is finding proper storage and that's what these guys are here. So these are external hard drives. We honestly won't buy one that's less than one terabyte. That is how much storage that we need and we use. All right guys, so this one here is just your regular external hard drive and these are all your SSDs. The main difference being that this one has a spinning hard drive in it and these ones do not. So we do prefer the SSDs over the regular, um, just you don't have to worry about anything breaking inside of them and they are quite a bit faster. However, we also don't mind using these guys. We have quite a bit of storage on them as well. So obviously we're not too picky about which brand we're using. We've got Samsung, we've got SanDisk. Um, basically we just buy whatever's on sale and has the most amount of storage because storage is the number one priority but SanDisk and Samsung have both served us well. All right guys, that's a wrap. You have seen what we use to edit our footage. You've seen our camera mounts. You've seen the cameras. Um, and if there's anything you want to see reviewed specifically, any product that you want more knowledge on, or you have any questions or even suggestions, uh, please make sure to leave a comment down below. We will be checking it out. As always, thank you for your support and make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, and follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Casey Kayak Fishing. Catch you later.